Good morning, good morning. It is 4.31 a.m. It is October 13th, which is a Sunday. October 13th, Sunday, October 13th. And I am here. Love and logic won't hold hands. Love and logic won't hold hands. Uh, it's so much I can say about this episode. It's so much I can say just based on that topic, right? I will, I will literally just be rambling. There's so much. Um, I agree. I agree. You can love somebody and it not be a logical move. It might be. It might not be logical or smart for you to love the person you love or love the things that you love, right? Or vice versa. Vice versa. The job you might love your job, but it might not be paying your bills. You know what I mean? It might be an easy job that you like to do. Um. Mainly people, though. I think this one might be mainly about people. I don't know. I'll have to uh get into it. Let's get into it. The reason I'm doing this so late in the day is because I was pretty much sleep all day. Yesterday. On the 12th. Um, October 12th. I was pretty much sleep all day. I did a bunch of um planning. Did a bunch of planning. Um, yeah, I did a bunch of planning. And I chilled pretty much. And I chilled. So, yeah. I slept and now I'm up. This is the time I usually be at work. So, I'm up now. Watching my video. I'm about to do some homework. Eat some food. And record some videos. Trying to knock these out so I could chill. So, I could chill. Um, before the 31st. And really make this last episode something special. That's my plan. That's my goal. Um, So, we're going to get into it. Someone shared a cool analogy with me today. They said our brains are like chocolate covered peanuts. The peanuts being our brain. I think she was hinting at something and chocolate being our emotions. Mm. I got to see where this goes. I got to see where this goes. Chocolate being our, our emotions. Me personally, I'm a very emotional being. I go from high and cold like very quickly. Very, very quickly. And that's something that I know about myself. It's something that throughout this series, I'm trying to learn how to control. Because I could be all in or I could be all out in like a matter of a second. A matter of a second. Um, I take things sometimes way too personal. But in my eyes, it's not too personal. But then when like certain situations get explained from the outside looking in, I may be wrong. <laughs> right? But... Chocolate being our emotions. I don't know. Let's see what that means. That emotional coding causes us a bit of duality between us. This is very obvious in matters of love, but also in the general day-to-day -day scheme of things. Procrastination is a matter of what I want to do versus what I need to do. Okay. For me, I used... To, well, I still am. I'm st I still am a big procrastinator. I procrastinate a lot. I procrastinate a lot. And even within this series, right, I I don't think I've procrastinated this series at all because I um once I got the idea, I just started doing it. I started doing it, but I started doing it off camera and then I decided to do it on camera like halfway through. Which turned out to be a better um situation. It turned out to be better this way for me personally. Um Fear holds us back from doing many things. Many of the things we fully know will move us forward. Yeah, kind of like my photo series. Um, everyone knows it's good to stay fit, but not everyone hit, hits the gym. Emotions are a very important thing we need to explore ourselves, especially if our logic is never to have a chance of getting a word in. Mm, let me read that. Emotions are a very important thing we need to explore ourselves, especially if our logic is is never to have a chance. Okay. So we're saying he's saying explore your emotions. Explore your emotions so that your logic has a chance to speak. Explore your emotions so that your logic has a chance to speak, if that makes sense. I'm not sure. It makes sense. Logic and love 
won't hold hands, but they need to understand each other. We need to have, we need to look at things from a logical stand, standpoint and then a love standpoint. I think that logic is more important than the, than the love, right? Because we do, it's said, to, it's said that people do crazy things for love, right? And I also, I also believe that like the highest form of love is, um, most people would say it's like marriage, right? But for me, I don't think, um, I don't think you marry for love. I don't think you marry for love. Um, there's other things to get married for, like marriage is a business first. Of course, the love the love comes later. Of course, you gotta have some sort of feeling for the person. But I don't think you need to be in love or fully like engulfed in love with the person that you marry. I feel like the sense of duty and and the um there's other benefits to marriage. Like you don't necessarily have to marry someone for love. Um. And that's where logic comes in. Who's the best person for you? The best person for you, you may not love as much as someone else. You know what I mean? Um, this isn't a trait exclusively to humans. Animals can also defy instinct when dealing with emotional issues. My friend's dog stopped eating for days after the passing of her mother. Emotions are a powerful fuel of making things happen, but they can also stop things in their tracks. We all let ourselves let our emotions get the best of us. Some say that's what makes us human. Yeah, my emotions get the best of me all too often, like all, all too often. And again, I'm a work in progress. I'm learning. I'm trying to be better at the things that I know that I need to be better at, right? And it's not a one-day thing. You know, I got to be put in certain situations to know that I shouldn't be in those certain situations or to know how to react in those certain situations so that I'm not, like, just so so emotional, right? And it's nothing bad. It's, nothing, it's not a, a negative thing to be emotional, right? Everyone's emotional. Like you said, even animals are emotional, right? We're not the only ones. We're not the only animal. Like that. Humans aren't the only animals that are emotional on Earth. You know what I mean, we just don't, you know, other animals just show it in different ways, right? But being able to control your emotions, you, you'll let logic have more of a say on, on what's going on in your life instead of letting the love or other emotions interfere. Clearly, we aren't all equipped with the same emotional barometer as we all respond to things differently. Emotions are up, down, twists, and turns on a roller coaster of life. Without them, we'd be robots, and things wouldn't be as exciting. As with anything, be conscious of your emotions as they can override your daily functions often enough to mess shit up. All right. For me, yeah, I believe emotions are important. It's important to have emotions. They are the roller coaster of life, right? But I also feel like for me personally, I have this um sense of pride. Like sense of pride where it's like once my emotions are going to a certain place, I lock into that emotion and I won't get out of it until I feel like it's safe until I feel like it's safe. And my emotions don't just stem from, my emotions come from come from things. They're just not random, right? When I feel some type of way about something, I'll you know, be emotional towards it and I'll shut down, which is not a good trait, right? And then I become stubborn. I'm very stubborn on how I feel. I don't care how you explain it to me. I'm still gonna believe what I believe. I'm working on it though. <laughs> Uh, work with them. Uh, repress emotions don't always help. It may only defer the issue for the later and probably less convenient time. For the for a later and probably less convenient time. Sometimes the best way to deal with the issue of our heart is to let the advice is to take the advice we would give others. Mm. What if I? What advice would I give someone else in my situation? 
Wow, that's 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 um that's interesting. That's a good way to look at things. When you get into a situation and you're cognizant of the fact that you're in a situation that you are feeling some type of way, that your emotions are changing, don't react off the emotion, right? Just take a step back and ask yourself, what advice would I give someone else? If I knew everything that I knew about the per like if, if the person was going through everything that I know about me, my my situation, from the outside looking in, what advice would I give myself? Hmm. Couldn't have that conversation with myself offline. <laughs> Sometimes it's as simple as holding our breath for 10 seconds, taking a long walk, popping bubble wrap, or punching a hole in the wall. Some choices will have more expensive consequences than others. And with that, a life lesson, as with every not so responsible choice. Um, yeah, as a kid, I did punch a couple holes in walls. Um, long walks is something I probably do now. Popping bubble wrap, no, nah, it wasn't every such thing to regulate my emotions, but I popped bubble wrap for random reasons, like come with a gift or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, now I know I have a conversation to have with myself offline to really figure some things out. Um, yeah. Waiting 24 hours to act gives your peanut a chance to get a say, which may be your saving grace. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm, um, damn, what was the two things? Uh, I'm I'm avoidant. I'm avoidant, right? I uh I take time to let my emotions develop so that when I'm in the in the mood, in the mode, in the moment, the things that come into my mind, I know I feel aren't like conducive to the continuing of what it is that I have or what it is that the situation is. So instead of destroying everything all at once, I rather take the time understand my emotions, understand the situation, and then come back to the table. That's me, right? But sometimes a lot of people, they want they want to deal with things in the moment. That's just not what I do because in the moment, that's when I, I end up saying things or doing things that aren't conducive to whatever the situation is. Um, so wait 24 hours to act, give your peanut brain a chance to get a say. Let the logic, let the logic take over. Let the emotions subside. Sit back, relax. Tell, you, tell your emotions to take a day off, and then you, then you can go and have the conversation with yourself. Be logical about it and approach it in a logical manner. But don't take too long, right? <laughs> However, you deal with the duality of your heart and mind. Just remember, it's an ongoing process. I feel like getting a bit. I feel it's getting a bit easier as I get older, or maybe that's just time gifting me a thicker skin from the bullshit of my past. It's all essential. So yeah, as we grow, every day we get we get a day older, right? We get twenty four hours older. We get new lessons. We get new um, we go through new situations every day, right? Every twenty four hours, something new, right? Something different. And those are giving you the tools to be able to deal with other things that, you know, may come up in life. And you feel like, you may feel like life is getting easier because you, you start, you at a certain point, it's like you've seen it all. You've done it all, right? What more can happen? And then still new things happen, right? But you're equipped with the tools to be able to deal with it because you've been through so much before, so much prior. So take those life lessons and embrace the life lessons, embrace the journey. So that as you continue on your journey, the journey gets easier. You know what I mean? Uh, I agree with everything he said here. For me personally, as as a very emotional person, as a very um, I'm 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 fallible, right? I, I make mistakes. I is fallible the right word for that? Fallible. What does fallible mean? I feel like I've used that word before. I don't know what it means. Fallible. I think fallible. Yeah, I'm fallible. I, I, I'm, I can fail. I, I am with flaw, I guess. I don't know what fallible means. 
Let me check. <laughs> I don't know. But, um... But, um, yeah, just for me, just for me, for me, it's, um, what does it mean? Um, yeah, I agree with everything he said here. Um, there's a love side, there's a logic side to everything, right? And most of us, we let our, we let our love outweigh our logic. And then we do things out of love and not out of, out of necessity, out of, out of being smart, making smart moves, doing things, I guess, the right way. But, um... Give yourself some time. Give yourself some time to evaluate the situation. Look at all possible outcomes and, and let the logic and know which is the best outcome for you, right? Let the logic take the not not necessarily take the front seat, but let the logic just do what it has to do. Right? We're all we're all gonna um We're all, we're all gonna be all right, right? We go, we're gonna go through things. We're gonna get through things. And as long as at the end of the day you're satisfied with the decisions that you made for your life, no one else can judge you for them. No one else should judge you for them. You shouldn't judge anybody else for their life decisions, right? You can tell them, hey, you made an interesting decision there. I don't agree with it, whatever the case may be. But if it's that big of a deal, you. Go, you depart from them, right? Act like you never knew them. And if it's not that big of a deal, you focus on the 90% of the things that you like about a person and 10% of the things you don't like. 10% of the things you don't like. Um, with that, I'm going to end this episode. Um, Pretty much don't let your emotions affect you so much right just stand back be logical be mindful and be open be open like the people that are around you the people that you love if they love you back they will be able to understand as you explain to them yourself right explain to them how you see things not everything has to be an argument not everything has to be a battle if you love that person that person loves you back then y'all on the same team. Y'all need to work to figure out how things are going to work in both of y'all favor, right? It's going to be some compromise, right? But you, that's where the logic comes in. You have to logically figure out what, um, what it is that you guys are going to compromise, how, how it is that you guys are going to keep each other in your lives or not, right? That's also a logical decision to, to keep it pushing, so to speak. So it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys on what you guys want to do. I'm going to probably end this episode right here. And episode 88. Episode 88. I don't even think I did a proper intro, but I got you on the next one. My bad. Mm-hmm.